Another overall page setup feature to look at is that of headers and footers. These will not display in the current view of the worksheet, but will display in the print preview. To get started on adding a header and footer, I will click the Page Layout tab and in the Page Setup dialog box launcher. Then I will click the Header and Footer tab. Here, I will click the Header drop-down arrow and choose something that people typically like seeing at the top of the page, like the name of a file. For the footer, though, I'll click Custom Footer. The Custom Footer allows us to add parts to any of the three sections in the footer, left, center, and right. By the way, you can do the same with a custom header. For this custom footer, let's say I want to put the date in the left side of the footer. I'll click the date icon. Then, let's say I want to put the page number in the center section. I'll click the insert page number icon. We'll leave the right footer blank and then click OK. Here, we see a preview of both the header and the footer. I'll click OK to finish this task. And then one way in which we can see how this looks is to go to the print preview. To access that, I will click File and then Print. Here is the print preview in the Backstage. From here, we can navigate through these pages, which we will later, as we want to focus on the header and footer we have added. Remember, headers and footers are mainly used to describe worksheets that have been printed.